Okay, welcome to another video. Today I have my cap here. I don't know, I'm thinking about putting it on and now I'm contemplating whether to put it on or not. Let me see. Put it this way. Or perhaps turn it. Turn it that way. Let me know what you think. <laughs> well, let me just leave it here. Alright, so today's video is about how to start even if you have no idea where to begin. And today I'm a bit closer to my gate, so there's gonna be some noise. I hope it's okay. And listen, truth be told, I have never actually seen anyone who has ever had all the answers when they start something. And it is literally impossible. That is why even when you think, you know, your plan is so good in the act of war, there must always be a backup plan or other alternatives because most likely than not, something definitely might go wrong. It happens, you know, in most of the plans that we decide, you know, to take. Something that will require a change of strategy once you initiate any action. Now, if we do not accept that aspect of uncertainty in our journey in life and accept that, you know, we don't need all the answers, what I've learned, you know, is that what might be perfect to you, to others, people could even care less. Now, there was a time that I was managing, you know, musicians in Ghana, and I remember most times the song that we thought was going to be really big, nobody even paid attention to. But the ones that probably wasn't mastered correctly, one way or the other, became the biggest hit in the country. Which quickly made me learn that uncertainty is part of the journey and you can figure things out as you go. Now listen guys, I have to say this because a lot of people keep saying that there is no perfect moment. Waiting for the perfect moment is a trap. But I'm going to say this because it is truth. The very moment you think that everything is now perfect and you do not get the results desired, it will lead you to quit before you even begin to see any results. You know why? It is because you skipped that aspect of feeling and gathering experience. Look, feeling are several things doesn't make you a failure. I was, you know, on a live app recently and asked many ladies, you know, certain questions on the app. Now, the question I asked the ladies was that, would you date a rich man who shows you no attention or a poor but ambitious man who loves you and gives you all the attention needed? And although, you know, there were ladies who opted for the rich man with no attention, most of the ladies opted for the caring but ambitious man. And it goes to say that society acknowledges hard work, you know, society acknowledges ambitious people, dedicated people, because the thing is that hard work beats talent any day and your day will come, I promise you. When that day comes, all your hard work will not have been for nothing, all right? Now listen, in a situation where you have no idea where to begin with, the idea that you feel as though you know nothing always comes to play. But I assure you that you have some knowledge or experience that you can leverage. If not anything, your experience in itself is a start. Start with what you already you know, know and understand and you can build from there. Now one mistake a lot of people do is to bombard you know, themselves with so much information that becomes overwhelming and it will lead you to depression. So use methods and tools that you know tools that you understand to begin you know your learning process now one other thing is that do not stress yourself one of the things that i have realized is that most people who wants to start a business struggle really hard with let's just say marketing and i keep saying that if you are struggling with marketing you already know that you have a way with people leverage on that now people easily trust you and can relate with you so the interesting thing to do is that use that as leverage now we call it customer service and relate that with the knowledge that you have in the product to begin with i hope i'm making sense you know listen you don't really have to know everything in the world people employ great minds to work for them in marketing along their journey in business now as a Ghanaian, i know how most Ghanaians think and i will tell you this most africans believe that we can do everything by ourselves so you will realize that a large number of businesses or business moguls in ghana always have one guy one boss one who always most often than not was responsible for his success but that is not usually the case because a few years ago building a strong and effective team with individuals who thought like me had you know the same mentality to win was the approach that i would have taken seriously trust me and it is so much easier when you work as a team a team where there is a common goal there is sort of effective communication when it happens like this growth is inevitable and productivity is much better or much higher now, one other thing too is that a leader must first learn to serve. So having a mentor in the area of endeavor or the field that you find yourself or the business that you want to create, someone who has been there, seen it all and conquered, someone who can advise you on the mistakes that they made or perhaps even use their influence to push you to a starting point is key to help you understand the field that you are in. So you see, mentors help you by providing 
some sort of valuable information to help you move forward in life. So try as much as possible to ask for advice and find communities of people who have been there or who have been where you want to be. And because you, when you surround yourself with supportive people, it will boost your motivation to keep going and it gives you the confidence to persevere. Now listen carefully, one thing that I've realized in my journey in life is that I would rather be consistent than perfect. Seriously, to hell with perfection. Because no one cares anyways. Either you make it work for yourself in life or no one will help you out. It's just what it is. So listen very carefully. To hell with what people think about you. Do what you can in the capacity that you can do it. And as you go on, improve upon it. Now you will you know, be surprised that if you can provide value for people, people will usually not care how perfect what you are providing is as long as they benefit from it, right? And the thing is, once you do this along your journey, you can add value and upgrade yourself through the benefits that you acquire and that's how you win. Because listen, if you commit to taking small consistent steps towards your goal every day, even if the progress feels slow over time, you will build momentum and those small steps will add up to reach higher heights. Trust me, even if you can set aside 10 or 15 minutes each day and week to focus on your goal, soon you will build the discipline and keep moving forward. Listen, there was a time in my life that I was editing a video and as much as I tried to understand key framing, it's an aspect about, you know, in editing. I couldn't get myself to grasp how it works. The tutorials were so advanced, the more I studied, the more confused I became. But listen, because I loved it, you know, and I loved to edit, regardless if I didn't understand everything about the editing, you know, program, it took just one day working in the program and something just clicked and it made sense all of a sudden. The realization is that the more consistent I was, always showing up, was building my understanding subconsciously without me knowing and I didn't even realize it until I started to understand how the actual platform works and it made a lot of sense. It has been the same with trading forex. Most forex traders will tell you how it takes just one day out of the many losses to figure out how to win eventually. But it is a process that you must go through. You see, one thing is that as you progress, you will learn more about your goal and adjust your approach. So starting without a clear plan doesn't mean that you will be stuck, no. All you have to do is try to stay flexible and adapt when new information comes in. When you start, you will realize how quickly your plans evolve over time, which gives you clarity on what works and what doesn't. And that is the knowledge that you need to win. You see, let me tell you this. I know if you are watching this, you feel overwhelmed, you know, you feel uncertain, but remind yourself this of why you wanted to start in the first place. Don't doubt yourself, right? Connect with yourself deeper. If you do this, when the process feels difficult and you are tempted to give up, it will give you the fuel to persevere and keep going. So ask yourself why the goal is so important to you, right? And how achieving it will improve your life and ask yourself what is at stake if you don't start. Now, before we end this, let me tell you something. Starting something by itself, especially when you have no idea where to begin in itself is a victory. So celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Now I have to say that starting is often the hardest part. Once you begin, you will realize that the journey brings clarity. It will bring you confidence and above everything, it will bring you growth. So don't wait for the perfect knowledge or the perfect time. Start today, even if you don't know how and your future self will thank you. Right here with you, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Can you leave me a comment, like, and I will get back to you. Stay positive, I'm out. Consider me logic, well I'm logical, be cautious Boko Haram the ISIS, the king makes me nauseous The world becoming treacherous Welcome to the story of the king Dreams and ambitions of the of Khan